Hi guys, it is Cara the Bubble Lush. So we are here at Cotton Babies in Vancouver. We have completely taken over their living room. And uh, <laughs> this is um, Brittany, Naturally Thrifty Mama, and her little baby Cameron. Um, this is the second part of a tag video, so I'm going to include the link below so you can go click on that and watch the first five questions over on her channel. And this is question six through ten. <laughs> okay. Um, you okay? He's trying to eat the tail. <laughs> Stick with this part. Okay, so question six. When do you find time to do your hair and makeup? When the kids are awake or asleep? Um, I would say, well, they're usually awake because if I were to do my makeup when they're asleep, I would have to get up earlier. Yeah, totally. But if I'm going, if we're doing something later in the day, I guess then maybe when they're napping, I would try to get my makeup done too. Definitely. Yeah. But like we talked about, if we're driving. Yeah, if we're driving. Then they're awake. <laughs> I well, not we're driving. If yeah, our husbands are driving. <laughs> I found it works really well. I, I've been giving both kids a bath at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then I get William done, and he's just like hanging out with me, and Hannah's still in the bathtub, so I have to be in the bathroom. That, I found, is a really good time to do your makeup. It's a little humid, but, <laughs> but the older one is contained. The baby is usually nice and calm because he just got out of the bath. Mm -hmm. That's usually the best time for me to either run a curling iron through my hair or put my makeup on. That's true. Yeah. I, I didn't really start bathing them together until recently. But, oh, really? Yeah, but I've, I'll just put Carter in the bath, and then I'll have Cameron sitting in the bath, Yeah. get him all done, and then take him out, and then he's content. So I do have a little bit. I guess I have done my makeup like that. That's the best way to go, probably. Yeah, I think that is the best way to go. It was like an aha moment when I figured that out, that I could bathe them at the same time. Genius. Uh, number seven, <laughs> do you work out and when? I don't work out regularly. <laughs> I, th I think the times that I work out, like I don't have a gym membership, I don't have like a, on Monday I'm doing legs, and Tuesday I'm, or Wednesday I'm doing this. For me it's usually like, I am playing with the kids on the floor, so I'll do a little bit of, I don't know what they're called, but like backwards push-ups I guess, or I'll just do some crunches with Carter. I had this baby workout, like work out with your baby DVD. Mm -hmm. when I, after I had Carter, and I just do some of this and that. Yeah. But usually, like, I don't like to work out in front of people. Usually, so if my husband's home, I'm like, I'm not working out today. <laughs> but I don't have like a formal routine or anything like that. But I go on walks a lot, and now we have a double stroller, and um, Hannah likes to sit in the front. And so pushing 40 pounds uphill, that's a pretty good workout, that's, I found. That's a workout. That is. They always take really good naps after a walk. This is a good question. Okay, what is your household cleaning routine? And do you clean every day? Um, I do clean every day. My husband and I actually like joined forces one day and we got together and made this little chart mm -hmm. as to, like, because he was trying to cut some of his work schedule down and actually by his work cut some of it down. Well, they didn't cut it down. There's just not very much work. Anyway, um, so we were home more together and so we're like, well, if we're both going to be home, maybe we can come up with some sort of routine. So we've got, like, on the fridge a cleaning schedule. Like, Monday is my day to do, like, laundry. Like, I will do most of it all on Monday. Diaper laundry I do almost every day, so yeah, that's different. But um, I have just basically, like, one specific task for each day. Like, you know, maybe Fridays, like, clean the kitchen floor, like, deep clean. Or maybe, I don't know. Every day kind of has its own thing. And yeah. spot cleaning. Yeah. And vacuuming. It's, like, every day. <laughs> I, do, I do the same thing. Like... Monday through Saturday, I have one room that I like focus on, mm -hmm. and then there's kind of a rotation. <laughs> like each week, I deep clean one room. So yeah. like I'm only deep cleaning the kitchen like once a month, mm -hmm. but I clean it. But at least it's getting done. Yeah, but it's well, clean. it's being cleaned every Wednesday. But like you know, drawer liners being wiped down, like super deep cleaning. That's done once a month. And then Sundays, I don't do anything. Sunday is my day to just like hang out with the family. Yeah. Makes sense. It's good to have one day, especially like if you miss something, mm -hmm. you can roll it over a little bit on that day, or you can. I, we're very flexible though at our house. Like if something doesn't get done, which some sometimes things don't get done, or some days the plants don't get watered on the right day, or you know. But I think th this tag is called the super mom tag. Yeah. I think that part of being a super mom, you know, like the the idea, mm -hmm. is being adaptable. Totally. Because even if, you know, you might have the best plans, but if they all go up in smoke, like, super mom is you could pull through and your kids are still happy, and you make it at the end of the day. I agree completely. I think the idea of cleaning, of like tackling one room a day, though, makes it really manageable. Because if you think of everything all together, it's like... It's so overwhelming. Ah! It's 
it's just awful. Too much. But if like, you know, Tuesdays you clean the bathroom, Thursdays you focus on bedrooms, like it makes it, it just breaks it down into like little bites. And then you can, your house is like always clean, you're always cleaning. But, yeah. But the house always kind of stays maintained. True. True that. Okay. Number nine. <laughs> do you ever get overwhelmed with all the responsibilities as a mom? Okay. I do. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things, that, especially with two kids. Yeah. And especially with uh, just a baby under one, I would say. I think it's, you get overwhelmed, but then, like I was talking about the super mom thing, I think mm -hmm. part of being a super mom is like realizing, okay, I'm getting stressed out, everything is getting chaotic, and I'm going to realize that, and I'm going to compartmentalize it until I can get everything back on track. Yeah, totally. Sometimes you got to have a moment. I would love to meet the mom that's not overwhelmed occasionally. Yeah. And I, I think that like when you get overwhelmed, that's the time to hand the kids to the dad and go take a bath. And like, oh, I want a bath. <laughs> that's like when you know that you just need to take like 20 minutes to yourself because, you know, nothing should be that overwhelming. But sometimes when you're, I don't know, she didn't just break my iPad. <laughs> but sometimes when, <laughs> oh my gosh, oh. but um, sometimes when you're like every day with two kids, it, it can totally get overwhelming. And yeah. that that little bath, that stepping away, will make you a better parent. I'm just gonna set that aside. Take a mommy moment. I'm gonna take a mommy moment because I think my daughter just broke my iPad. Okay. I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, getting overwhelmed just, as a parent? <laughs> I just saw the, I saw it fall and then I saw the little Hannah booty. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, question 10. How often do you <laughs> do you have alone slash me time and how do you relax? We should have like looked at these questions we more. We should have. Because we've been touching on all of these. You want to go first? How often do you have you time? Me time? Um, I don't answer that. I don't think I have me time like by myself to hang out or do what, you know, do what I want to do during the day very often. Usually it's kind of like incorporated with what we're doing, like what the kids are doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm, if we're playing on the floor or something, maybe I'll like hit Instagram on my phone and check out, you know, so I would count like that little thing as a little bit of me time. Sure. But I'm still trying to stay actively involved in what, you know, what the kids are doing and what, what's going on. Hey, but I do, at nighttime I do try to take a little bit of time, like after the kids are in bed, usually, because my husband works for, for off nights. Okay. So usually I'll try to, if I'm, it's just me, I'll try to take a little bit of time just by myself to kind of take a little downtime, maybe watch a few YouTube videos, mm -hmm. maybe drink some tea, almost every night I'm drinking tea. Um, and if my husband's home, then him and I will just have a little bit of me time, couple yeah, time, yeah. relax time. Well, I think that was all the questions. Um, we did it! We did it! And, you know, yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay, so, again, I'll put the link below to the first half of this video over on Brittany's page, and um, I think we need to go entertain Hannah with something else. <laughs> <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Right, bye guys. Bye.